It's because I can pray this prayer for real. And I want to tell you four things right quick about Paul and this prayer. I think I told you that this prayer was a for real, for real prayer. It means, Pastor Shanks, that this ain't no hanky shanky prayer. But Paul said in this prayer that this prayer was for a specific cause. And the reason that this prayer was for a specific cause is because Paul began in verse 1. And he says the same words for this cause. And as Paul began to talk and talk to the Lord, he saw himself getting full on the inside because Paul was referring back to salvation and the brand new church. And I'm glad that Paul had a referring back because every now and then when I get on my knees to pray, I look back where the Lord have brought me from. And I understand that some of you have been holy all of your life. But I haven't been that lucky that I've been saved all my life. So I look back over my shoulder to see where the Lord has brought me from. And when I think about how good God has been, I can only cry out, Holly, hallelujah. But not only did he pray for a specific cause, but the next thing I see that his prayer was so important that it drove Paul from his feet or his seat to bow down on his knees. And every now and then I, I can be in the kitchen and I can be looking through the shades of my family room. Something could come on television where some child got shot or dead. And I can look back over my life when I was running the streets and I can start praying, thanking the Lord for saving a fool like me. But in the midst of my prayer, I had to drop down on my knees every now and then. We ought to drop down on our knees. Prayer standing up is all right. Prayer sitting down it's all right but it's something about when you get on your knees I come by to tell you that it's all right to pray on your knees let me tell you why that it is all right because when you bow down on your knees you're letting God know I desperately need you you let God know I'm dependent on you. You let God know I respect you. You let God know that He's able, isn't He able? Well, I come by to tell you, kneeling is all right. Paul, when he was leaving, the Ephesian leaders in Acts 20 and 36, he kneeled down to pray. On his farewell message, Stephen got on his knees when he was stoned, prayed for them, and fell asleep. Peter got on his knees when he raised Tabitha. I come by to tell you, not only was it specific, not only did it bow his knees, but his prayer address God I come by to tell you on my way to my seat that God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son and whosoever believeth in him shall not perish but have everlasting everlasting life Paul says for this cause don't look at my tribulations. It's for God's glory. Don't look at my trials. It's for your glory. Don't look at my sickness. It's God be the glory. He says for this cause, I bow to my knees. But this is what I got all happy about. 
Look what Paul prays for. He did not get on his knees and pray for silver and gold. He did not get on his knees and pray for houses and land. But Paul got on his knees. His prayer was for the family of God. He prays for strength by God. He prays for power through God. He prays that Christ will reign and rule. He prays that the Holy Spirit will indwell. I come by to tell you on my way to my seat, I don't know how you feel about it, but I'm glad that God answers prayers. Is there anybody here that knows the answer prayer? Is there anybody here that know he'll answer? May not come when you want him to, but he's always on time. Is there anybody here that love my Jesus? Anybody here that love my Lord? I come by to tell you, my Jesus is on the main line. Call him up and tell him what you want. Somebody here on tonight say, who is this Jesus? I'm glad you asked. He's Mary's baby. He's Joseph's son. He's the axe coming of the Holy Ghost. He's Matthew's king. He's Mark suffering seven. He's Luke's great physician. He's John Word made flesh. Is there anybody here that love my Jesus? He's James and Jude, big brother. He's Joe's heart, pouring in the valley. He's the greater and morning star. Well, my Jesus, for this call, I pray. My Jesus, for this call, I pray because he brought me. I pray because he taught me. I pray because he saved me. I pray he picked me up. I pray he turned me around. I pray who is Jesus? Well, he was born in Bethlehem, hid in Egypt, raised in Nazareth, taught at Jerusalem, prayed at Gethsemane, but on a hill called Calvary, he showed up, didn't he show up? My Jesus, my Jesus, my Jesus, my Jesus, my Jesus. My Jesus, my Jesus, my Jesus, my Jesus, my Jesus, my Jesus, my Jesus showed up on Calvary. One Jesus, one Calvary, took one cross on one shoulder, died one time, buried one time, but right early, 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 third day morning. He got up, didn't he get up? Didn't he get up? Didn't he get up? Say yeah, 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 yeah. I, I know it's all right. In the eye, in the eye, in the eye. In the eye, in the eye, in the eye. Living, he saved me. Dying, he loved me. Buried, he carried me. But early, he justified me. In the eye. Won't it, won't it, won't it, won't it? Put food on your table. Won't it, won't it, won't it, won't it? Put clothes on your back. Won't it, won't it, won't it, won't it? Save your soul. Won't it, won't it, won't it, won't it? Make you whole. Won't it, won't it, won't it, won't it? Get your food when you're hungry. Won't it, won't it, won't it, won't it? In the eye. In the eye. In the eye. In the eye. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I know it's all right.
doors of the church is open. Is that one by letter Christian experience or by baptism? There might be somebody here tonight that might need prayer. You don't have to leave here until we have prayed for you and with you. Will you come? to come. You ought to come. Will you come? My 